Hi, so I want to talk a little bit about um, the floral DIY project and why I'm doing this. So my oldest sister is getting married. She's having her wedding ceremony in July and that doesn't leave us much time. Now my sister, she is a very, very wonderful eclectic person. She loves all things kind of whimsical and her and I have been pinning Pinterest ideas for a little while now trying to figure out what it is exactly that she's looking for and her the best idea like as a like if we're going to describe this is like an enchanted forest at night basically with you know twinkle lights and stars and plants and wildflowers and little fairy things so I'm gonna just go ahead and show a couple of pictures that were our inspiration she is definitely like when people say that someone's really unique she's definitely one of those people she is so unique and she loves anything different pretty much and wildflowers and she really wanted it to be kind of free and not super traditional so I uh, basically she told me that she likes um, jewel tones so amethyst, sapphire, ruby, emerald, anything jewel toned those are the colors that she likes and again because she's not trying to be super tra traditional she didn't want to pick uh, any wedding colors really but we figured if we keep it in the jewel tones the colors that she likes we can just have those basic um, colors be our starting off point so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the colors that are our starting off point so now that you've seen those colors again I'm basically going to be looking she gave me a lot of freedom with this project I'm going to be looking for any kind of flowers also succulents she likes succulents so I'm looking for succulents as well and I can pick any of those plants that I want I'm just trying to keep it in those color families so it stays a little bit more cohesive and now with all of that explained let's get back to the video where are we going we're going to Hobby Lobby all right what are we, what are we going to Hobby Lobby for to get flower arrangements for my daughter's wedding yeah. <laughs> So we're at Hobby Lobby and we are about to look at the flowers for my sister's wedding. So Pinterest has been a big help. Yes. And it's 50% off today, so we're super excited. <laughs> so right now the game plan is to start searching and collecting flowers in the designated color spectrum. And basically once I get a good pile going, then I'm going to lay them all out on the floor in their color groups and take pictures of them to send to my sister for her final approval. So we need something green, and I was thinking about fern, but I really, really like this. He just kind of hangs, and he's really nice, a little fantastical fairy lamb. Oh, look! That's cute. There you Those go. These would be like really good little like sizes if I wanted to do one. Yeah, that. you can just buy that and, and chop yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Good All right. Next, I'm just going to grab this one for, okay. for right now that we've got you think about so as you can see I have all of the different color groups laid out on the floor so I'm going to take pictures of them and then send them to my sister for her final approval. Hey sis, um, so I have all the flowers that we take, we're taking a look at in the color that you wanted and I laid them out on the floor, took some pictures and I sent it to you so if you just get a 
a chance to take a look at them and let me know what you think. We're going to go take a look at some fairy lights, okay? All right, cool. Thank you. Bye-bye. I will link the fairy lights in the description. We ended up having to go on Amazon. Okay, so we got all the goods in the back of the car right there. <laughs> that line was really long. The line huh? was hella long. <laughs> it was so long. There was probably like, I want to say like 50 customers, it seemed like. Oh, more. Or, or more, more. Like in, in line waiting. And they only had not even like half of their check stands four open. Four check stands open. Yeah, four check stands open. And each check stand had at least 20 people standing in it. Yeah, it was it was really insane. But we made it through and now we're heading home and I'll probably start working on putting these together in the near future. So these are the floral domes that I picked out. I got these at the dollar store. And as you can see, you know, they have some stickers on them. So I'm going to use this Goo Gone to go ahead and remove those. And so I start by peeling the stickers off of the little domes. And this can be quite satisfying if I get a good, clean rip. So that one wasn't quite as satisfying, but this next one was super nice. So I just went ahead and removed all of the stickers from the domes and next I went ahead and got the goo gone out and I'm going to be using this, a plastic scraper and a towel to remove the extra sticker residue. So I put on my gloves for safety, you should probably actually do this outside now that I think about it. So I just go ahead and scrape the sticker away with the plastic scraper and then once I got all that gone, I'm just going to wipe it down with a towel. Once I had finished removing the sticker residue, I then had to wash everything off to get the goo gone off of the domes before I used them. So I just went ahead and rinsed those in hot water with some soap and, you know, scrubbed them out. So the domes that I'm using are clearly a little bit different from each other. The larger one has a hole in the bottom, which is going to be very useful. You'll see that later. And the brown one does not have a hole in the bottom, but we have a solution for that. So the next step was to actually start making the floral arrangements and I just went ahead and picked a variety of flowers from the ones I had selected for my sister and tried to get at least two of each color group. So the tools that I will be using are some sharp wire cutters plus a pair of scissors for the plastic pieces. I also have a trusty hot glue gun and now I'm going to show you why we need that hole in the bottom of our dome. So I have these fairy lights that have a battery pack and I got these off of Amazon. I'm linking them down in the description and your fairy light will fit through that hole in the bottom of your dome. Now my next step is to make sure that the fairy lights are working and they are. So now that I know that they're working and the batteries, you know, they're in there, I'm going to go ahead and string the lights through the bottom of the hole on my dome. Now that the fairy lights have been strung through the base of our dome, I'm going to show you how to secure those wires. So you're just going to put hot glue all around the base of that and then you're going to let it dry for a few moments. Now that the base is secure, we need to fold up the wire and attach the battery pack. So I'm going to do this with the screws facing outwards so we can hopefully still access it when we're done in case we need to change batteries. So I'm going to take the hot glue gun and I'm going to put glue on the 
top part of the battery pack so that way I can still access the little screws. And now I'm just going to press that in place. Place it so that way you can still access the little switch. Now we're going to secure the loose wire. So I'm just going to fold it in there and place some glue where I'm going to set that in there. And then I'm going to press it into the hot glue so that way it doesn't interfere when the stand goes to lay flat. So you're going to want to start with your tallest flowers first. So for me, that would be these plants here. For this dome, I decided to start off with this beautiful tall purple flower. And you're just gonna want to test and make sure that the size is correct to your dome. And if it looks a little bit too tall, make sure that you trim it shorter because we don't want the flowers to be pressing against the roof of the dome. So you see here, once I test it out and I see that it's going to be a good size, then I get ready to place it. Start by adding glue to the very bottom of the stem of your flower and then you want to place it in the center or as in the center as you can get it. Once you have it placed, then you're going to want to build up the base around it. So just add a whole bunch of glue around the bottom as kind of a support. Hold the flower in place until it's completely dry and can stand by itself. Now you'll want to repeat the process with your medium sized flowers. So you always start off with one tall flower and then you start adding shorter ones around the tall flower. Again, just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of the stem and then start building up the base around it. Continue adding shorter flowers and remember to you know, depending on what you want to do, add a variety of colors as you go along. Part of what I feel like really makes these little domes so pretty is the layering. I love having the variety of colors and I like trying to find little places and nooks and crannies to hide something new, all the different colors and all the different flowers. You know, I really just want to make it diverse and pretty for my sister. Now that I have the medium flowers out of the way, I'm going to add the base layer, which is the moss. So you're gonna to wanna to take some moss and just kinda of bunch it up together to make like a little moss patty, and then put a section of hot glue all over the floor of your dome. Now take your moss patty and press it against the hot glue. Repeat this process until the entire base of your dome is covered in moss. Unfortunately, my camera did die here, but you want to trim the edges of the moss so that way it turns out nice and clean like that. Then you're gonna start adding your bottom flowers.
Now you can see the semi-finished product. You can see all the different layers and levels of the flowers. Now it's time to add the final piece, which is going to be, in this case, our butterfly. After comparing my color options, I finally decided on this pink butterfly. So what you want to do next is trim down the wire for the butterfly, so that way it will sit more flush against the flowers. When choosing a place for your butterfly to sit, choose a place that's a little bit flatter or broader and that's also going to be stable. Apply a healthy amount of hot glue to the bottom of your butterfly and then press it against whatever base you have chosen. Now it's time to wrap slash weave your fairy lights around your flowers. My camera did die again so it cuts off the video a little bit but you'll see what it looks like afterwards. Here is what it looks like while I try to place the top of the dome onto my little flower bundle here. You have to be careful that the wires don't get caught and that they're not sitting in the secure points where the plastic dome will meet the base. Now that the lights are secure inside of the dome, let's test it and turn it on. When we glued the battery pack, we made sure that we were still able to access the switch. And that is your finished product. Now let's talk about the brown dome. So the brown dome, as we mentioned earlier, does not have a hole already inside of the base for your lights. So we are going to have to create a hole ourselves. Make sure that you are using a surface that you do not mind getting holes in it or destroying it. I'm going to be using this piece of wood from my backyard. Also make sure to remove any stickers that are on the bottoms. Drill from the bottom of your dome so that way the plastic is flush against your surface so that way it doesn't split. Try to go as in the center as you can, but if it's off a little bit, that's totally fine. Now we're going to repeat the process from before of checking that our battery lights are working, stringing them through, and then securing the base. The steps are the same with this one. Make sure that your tallest flowers don't press against the surface of your dome. You know, add tall, medium, and then go to your moss patty, you know, base. Make sure that you trim those up after you're done adding those, and then continue on with your smallest flowers. For some reason, I am missing the footage of me adding the smaller flowers to this dome, as well as the footage of me wrapping the fairy lights. So I'll be looking to improve that system in the future so that way I'm not missing any more important details. But the process is the same from here on out as the other dome. So the next clip that I'm going to be showing you guys is the final finished products. Here are the domes without the lights turned on. You can see the details a little bit better, I think. In a moment, I will show you what they look like with the lights on. If you decide to try this, please, please, please post pictures in the comments. I can't wait to see if you guys try this and what it looks like. Here they are with the lights on. Thank you so much for watching. You know, if you like this video, please like it and please let me know what I can do to improve my videos in the future. Bye!